Heather, welcome to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you everything that I bought in Salem. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I did vlog this trip as well. The vlogs will be linked down below. I also have vlogs from last year as well. So if you want to check those out, definitely go ahead and do so because I vlogged the entire trip. Let's get started, shall we? The first store I'm going to start with is witch tees. So the first thing we have here is this yellow t-shirt. Super cute. This was the only size they had and the only yellow one they had left. So me and my mom have this shirt in a corally color and every year we've come that's the only one we see or they don't really have like any other colors. So when we saw this we just picked it up because it's a different color and it was the only one so i also got a black one it's in my dirty laundry pile because i wore it yesterday but it's the same shirt just in black with light white lettering me and my mom try to do this road trip every single year together it's like our thing we just wanted new shirts to wear next year we got my dad this shirt i'm retired but i work part-time as pain in the ass we just thought it was funny you know and my mom actually got this for me because i found it so funny if you're happy and you know it, it's your meds. I am on antidepressants, so I thought that was funny. I think that was it from Witch Tees. Let's do Trolley Depot. This is where I bought a lot of stuff. I do love this store a lot. I got this from Trolley Depot. It's this sweatshirt. It's gray, it's cute, as it's a hoodie. My mom got this magnet. Actually, she might've gotten this in Witch Tees. My bad, this was from Witch Tees, but she got this in Trolley Depot. It's a broom pen. It's really cute. My mom got it for me. Then I got this magnet. It says entering Salem. This is what the signs look like when you're entering into towns um, here. So I thought it was really cute and it was cheap. It was only like $3.99. And I like the black and the orange because Halloween, you know, good vibes, good vibes. And then my mom got this keychain. It's super pretty, sparkly. It just says Salem and yellow is her favorite color. A little witch and cat. Super cute, super, you know, fits the vibes. I got these mints for my mom. Just says Salem, Massachusetts. Um, and they're little mints to put in her purse. So I got those. I got this book, which I'm so excited about. Queering Your Craft. It's like queer coded. So like, obviously I had to get it. Um, no explanation needed for that. Next, let's do Coven's Cottage, which might be my favorite store in Salem. I got some warding salt, and it's used in casting circles and protection and creating a sacred space, home protection, all that. So I just got a little jar of it. Ooh, there's like incense in it too. There's herbs and stuff. And the bottle's so cute, but also it's just like super useful to have. I got this jar um, of an herbal blend for home blessing. So you could burn this as incense or place in a bowl to bring in blessings, healing, prosperity, and peace. Again, super useful to have just to have around some herbs. Lastly, I also got crystals. The first one I got is moonstone. Wait, then I got larvae as well. I got green tree agate. And for all of that, my total only came to $33. Okay, next might be my favorite purchase of the whole trip, which says a lot. Um, we went to the Modern Millie Boutique. It's a little boutique across from the Trolley Depot off of Essex Street. It's adorable. It's like cute, quirky, like girly clothes and they have a lot of plus size stuff in there and i just absolutely adore that store it is a little on the pricey side but it's great quality clothing and it's just so quirky and fun and very much my cup of tea i got a shirt if you're like a normal person you might not think it's cute but i literally like almost cried when i saw this it's just this like sleeveless top and it has this little these little ribbons in the front that you could tie into a bow. It has like sunflowers, carrots, peas, watermelons on it. And I thought it was so cute for the summer. And like, so like quirky, girly, like cottage core, but also like just 
gay. I don't know. I just loved it. It was $58 and it took a lot of convincing not for me but for my mom to be like on board with it even though it was my money and she was like do you really need to be spending 58 dollars?" and i was like you have no idea like i've never been this attached to a shirt at first sight so i got this i'll insert a picture of me trying it on i was literally like the happiest ever next couple items are from the witch history museum you can go in there and just go into the gift shop if you don't want to do the tour i've done the tour multiple times past year so i didn't do the tour again i got this really cute statue it's of a broomstick and there's five little cats with witch hats and i just thought it was so adorable as soon as i saw it i just knew i had to get it i didn't even look at the price um it was 22 dollars, which isn't too bad whatever and no it's not a halloween decoration i'm going to have it in my room all year round also from the witch history museum i have this little candle holder with a pentagram on it and this was only three dollars so i thought it was like good to have and then i just got two white candles these were only 50 cents each and white is good for like everything any intention you could use white for and then a light purple next we went to a store down by the wharf called enchanted it was like a little magic shop. It was very cute in there. In there, my mom got me this room to put on my altar. Oh, it smells like the store. And it also has this little goddess pendant with amethyst. And the reason I got this, well, one, it's cute. But also, there's a broom making like class down by the wharf in the, um, I think it's called the witchery store. And I was gonna do it, but then I decided not to because I didn't wanna like do it by myself and it was kind of expensive. So my mom surprised me with this, a little broom instead. Even though it looks like a cool experience, I'll probably do it eventually, but this is a cute little one instead. Okay, next was a quick little find in the Harry Potter themed store on Essex Street. I don't know what it's called, but if you've been to Salem, or are going to Salem, you know or will know what I'm talking about. We got this little card game. It's a Hocus Pocus Tricks and Wits card game. Me and my mom tried to play it last night. If you watched the vlog, we couldn't figure out how to play it. The thing about me and my mom, whenever we get new games, my dad always has to like figure out how to play it because I just could not figure, I can't figure out game instructions for the life of me. We're gonna figure it out when we get home we tried to play it here it didn't really work but it seems cute it's like the kids versus the witches so maybe we're just dumb but i couldn't figure it out so i'll have to let you know in a future video maybe or in the comments remind me in the future i'll let you know how it goes when we get home then we just went to a store on essex street called tibet arts i think it's tibet if i'm saying that wrong i'm sorry i just got this for my mom because it was literally two dollars <laughs> And I thought it was cute. It says, um, you are special to me. Um, she loves like little things like this. So I thought I would just surprise her with it. And she almost cried. It was literally $2. So to make my mom smile. Oh, uh -huh, so cute. Speaking of my mom, we went into a store. Don't remember the name. Shocker. She just got this little dish to put her crystals in. I'm turning my mom into a crystal girly. She was raised Catholic. Like, I don't know. I'm just, like, giving all the positive vibes, I guess. But it's so cute. It's a, it's a little sun. And it's just, like, such good vibes. I wish I got it because it's kind of cute and I want it. This one is from a store on Essex Street. Um, I think it used to be called, like, the Bank Plaza Store. I don't really know what it's called now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it's called now. But these shirts were on clearance for $5. So my mom got this one. It says, oh look, another glorious morning, makes me sick. Obviously from Hocus Pocus with the witches on it. I don't really love this material. It's like a dry fit material. I don't like them, so I didn't get one. But my mom did, cause she was like, it's five bucks, whatever. I'm pretty sure this is from that store as well. I'm like 99% sure. It's three black cats with as the Sanderson sisters. Next, I went to Witch Way Gifts on Derby Street kind of near the house of the seven gables i got my mom 
this little lighthouse because she was looking at it and so she like turned the other way and I literally grabbed it and ran to the register um it was only eight bucks so I was like whatever you know cheap make my mom happy again it's the little things you know we have a condo in Florida this is like I don't know how to not speak but we have a condo in Florida and the theme is kind of like nautical this color blue you know very basic like white family moves to Florida decorates their condo obviously whatever anyways but I this was so cute a little lighthouse because we were right by the lighthouse um down by the wharf and she thought it was cute so I got it we went to ye old pepper candy company the oldest candy shop in America but my mom got these um salt water taffies they hand make them there or they make them there she got this because of the turtle dish it's in it's really cute we've had their taffies before we love we honestly love salt water taffy and the ones from here are really good they're like really soft and like definitely check it out um i love this candy store but this was $18.95 which isn't too bad for the little turtle and the taffy we are on the last item this is from the store Bewitched in Salem. It's from the Pinhead, Pinhead Monster series thing. But look, it's the Sanderson sisters with little button eyes. Oh my God, did you even notice? Because like, it's a button on the book because that's where the eye was. That's really cute. So my mom got this for me, for us, I guess. And yeah, it's just the little Sanderson sisters that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Girl, what is that? Okay, we're gonna wrap this up real quick because we <clears throat> hear scary noises. The last thing we got is this bottle of Sun Garden Riesling um, from Pomplemousse, the wine store, liquor store on Essex Street. Freezing. Okay. Yeah, that's everything that I bought. Again, if you haven't watched the vlogs, definitely go watch the vlogs because I vlogged this whole trip. So go watch it. Subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Hit that like button. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.